Next on AM 1480 WLEA, The Newsmaker Show. Here's Ryan O'Neill. And on this morning on The Newsmaker Show, Schuyler County Legislator Democrat Michael LaSalle, who's running for state senate and uh, is going to be in the upcoming September 13th primary. Michael LaSalle, thank you for joining us. Glad to be here. Well, Michael LaSalle, uh, tell us all about yourself, uh, where you're from, where you are, uh, your, uh, uh, your, your job, and how you got interested in running for state senate. Sure. Well, I, I was born and grew up in Puerto Rico. I moved to central New York uh, when I was 19. So I've lived in the area since then, pretty much. I went to uh, NYU for my bachelor's degree, and then I went to Syracuse Law School. Graduated in 1990 and worked at the Legal Services Office in Geneva, uh, serving the Finger Lakes area, uh, representing lower-income clients in a wide variety of civil matters. And that's really what got me interested in uh, running for for office. Uh, It was definitely a career that involves public service, uh, representing clients with all types of problems, and uh, really seeing up close how how close people can be to uh, being on the edge, and any disruption in their life can uh, be pretty catastrophic. And I felt that it was important to get into government and see about making things better. Now, are you a practicing attorney, Michael? Yeah, well, not at, not at the present, but that's what I did as an attorney. Uh, then I, I ran for the county legislature in 2013, uh, was elected, representing uh, one of the districts from the town of Hector, and I was reelected last year. Very interesting background. Schuyler County Legislator Michael LaSalle is uh, a Democrat running for state Senate. He's uh, going to be up in the primary uh, coming up next week. The issues now, uh, starting with, uh, I think wind energy is always a big issue. Uh, I know that it is locally. wonder where you uh, stand on the topic of uh, wind power, Michael. Well, we don't have uh, much wind uh, wind installations over here in Schuyler County, uh, but I understand that it's been rather uh, a controversial subject. Uh, I definitely support renewable energy. We've uh, gone much more with solar here, uh, and I'm certainly I believe we do need to promote both of them. Uh, but I'm. I'm aware that there are a lot of people that are divided on the wind issue. Uh, I'm I'm not really that clear what the issues are with wind. That's uh, you know um, what the uh, concerns are. Uh, I understand there's background noise that the people living right close to the installations uh, complain of. Uh, and certainly, if you know if that's the case, I mean, I, I, like I said, I'm not aware of this up firsthand, but yes, uh, we have a lot of uh, those issues around here. Basically, what you have is uh, you have three groups. You have the uh, wind farmers who'd like to see uh, the uh, turbines on their property. You have the uh, the often the neighbors uh, who are concerned that. Uh, they they don't want to live next door to wind turbines for noise and uh, and appearance reasons. And then you have the uh, everybody else who's uh, so far away that uh, you know they they don't really have a stake in it, and they're they're a lot less interested in the whole issue. Right, and it it does appear that that it's a lot easier to install wind power in uh, more sparsely populated areas than here. Out in the Midwest, obviously, it's big, uh, just like they're pursuing the offshore installations. Up. So certainly in most of this area, it seems that with the dense population we have, it's, uh, not, pre- it's not the preferable way to go. We've had a great, uh, great progress in Schuyler County installing solar, 
And yes, that was my next question for you, uh, Steuben County. Excuse me, Schuyler County Democrat uh, Michael Lassell. Tell us about uh, solar in Schuyler County and your thoughts on solar. Right, we uh, we started a solar Schuyler program uh, through Cooperative Extension, uh, similar to the one that was started in Tompkins County, and we've had great success with that. And the uh, our local economic development. Um, office is looking into a new uh, new systems that are able to be there the the actual panels are more kind of on independent pylons and they rotate with the sun but the advantage of them is that you can have vineyards below it uh, or even pasture for smaller animals uh, so that you can actually get two uses out of the land because it does seem that the installations up to now, of course, you're going to favor uh, a flatter area and you're you're taking farmland and putting it to a different use, where if we could combine these two uses, that seems like it would be ideal. Now, uh, we're going through the issues here and where he stands on the issues with Schuyler County Democrat, uh, Schuyler County Legislator uh, Michael LaSalle. Next up, uh, related issue, agriculture. Agriculture and farming. Uh, your thoughts on um, how New York State government uh, treats the farmers and uh, what you would like to do for uh, the farmers if you get into office in the state Senate? Uh, my experience is uh, with smaller farmers, we have a, we have a situation in our county where and I think it's pretty it's pretty general where you've got your larger dairy farms that are uh, needing to buy up uh, land or lease it so that they can uh, spread the manure from their operations. Uh, and that's putting a lot of pressure on, on smaller farms um, to kind of get consolidated into that. But at the same time, you have a lot of younger people that are looking into different markets. Uh, Supplying vegetables locally and to nearby nearby uh, larger regional markets, uh, and a lot of different crops that are not your traditional crops like mushrooms. Uh, and uh, so I strongly support uh, promoting those those farms. There is some assistance from the state uh, for smaller farmers also, and that's a great thing. Uh, we have an aging. Uh, farming population and in the next 20 years in some way or another um, a lot of those farms will need to be transferred to younger people that will be working them into the future and i i believe it's important to uh, diversify not just have you know not just concentrate on dairy farms and corn but all kinds of products and I would say along those lines, I think that we have a lot to do in terms of distribution. I don't, I don't believe that a farmer's market is the greatest uh, way to distribute food. I raise beef cattle, and I use rotational grazing, uh, different techniques that are sustainable. And I sell primarily to uh, the natural foods co-op in Ithaca. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be able to be a supplier there. But I do participate in the, the local Montour Falls farmers market. Uh, however, to me, it seems like it's more of a public service, really, than a, an efficient way to actually take products and, and you know distribute them to the consumer. So I would be very interested in seeing how we can uh, facilitate local farmers being able to supply their produce and their their crops locally. Talking to uh, Schuyler County Legislator Michael LaSalle, who's running for uh, state senate, and um, he's going to be uh, up in the uh, primary coming up on uh, Thursday, September 13th, next week there. Um, well, Michael, it appears that uh, you're quite the Renaissance man, uh, quite well-rounded, in addition to your law degree and... Um, uh, your your farm work. It also says on your website that you're an emergency responder in Schuyler County. 
Uh, can you tell us your thoughts on uh, health care in New York State and your health care policies? Well, I, I definitely got in, interested in the, the New York Health Act when I read the study put out by the uh, professor at the University of Massachusetts saying that we would lower our, our local property taxes by 50% if we moved to a single-payer system since it would involve uh, taking over Medicaid, which, as we all know, in most counties, that is 50% of our local property taxes. Uh, that's a burden that New York places on the counties, which a lot of other states, don't, most states, don't have. Uh, and this is something I definitely feel that we need to take a look at that. There was a study released by the Rand Corporation just a few weeks ago that uh, in, in its summary, it says that that's exactly uh, the situation. We would be able to reduce our property taxes. Now, that's the number one issue for any elected official in upstate New York. So I feel that this is something we really need to look at. And it's something that my opponent, Senator O'Mara, is not interested in discussing. Talking with... Uh... Michael LaSalle, Democrat State Senate candidate, who's up in the uh, upcoming uh, primary uh, Thursday, September 13th. Um, minimum wage. This is something that uh, Governor Andrew Cuomo's pushed for, although Cuomo's opponent, Democrat Cynthia Nixon, says uh, that uh, Cynthia Nixon says that uh, Governor Andrew Cuomo's not as good on this issue and he had to be pushed into it. Uh, minimum wage. Your thoughts on minimum wage and the minimum wage increase that's gone through? Well, first off, I would say that whether he was pushed into it or not, the fact is that it is a reality, and uh, the plan is that the, uh, our upstate area will be given more time, but that eventually the minimum wage will be at $15 all across the state. Uh, I'm particularly aware that farmers uh, have felt that they can't, they, they simply can't pay those wages, Um uh, and it, at this point, it's, it's the reality that it is going to be going up. On the bright side, I do understand there are studies that, that say those, those wages, uh, once they do go up, uh, there are ways that, that it all works out. But um, right now, we're... Well, it's certainly the, the case that it is going up, and uh, that's what we've got. We're talking with a Schuyler County Legislator Democrat, Michael LaSalle, who's uh, running in the uh, primary coming up and on September uh, 13th, Thursday of next week. Uh, we're going to take a quick break, check the forecast, and we'll be back here on the Newsmaker Show. Stay with us. Selecting a nursing home for a loved one isn't easy until you've discovered Hornell Gardens Nursing and Rehabilitation. Hornell Gardens delivers the highest level of care, compassion, and commitment with amenities and activities that will enrich body, mind, and spirit. It's a place that's close to home. Stop in for a tour of Hornell Gardens located at 434 Monroe Avenue in Hornell or to learn more, call 585-222-CARE or visit hurlbutcare.com. Bennett's Greenhouse of Hornell is open daily. Step in and browse around. They have a large selection of garden decor to choose from. Check out their mums in all the colors you'll love. That's Bennett's Greenhouse, 2200 Route 21, Hornell. Great gift selections and gift certificates for those hard to buy for. Their knowledgeable staff is there to help you with all your gardening questions. Don't forget, open daily. Bennett's Greenhouse, Route 21, Hornell. Well, meteorologist Rob Carolyn, how long is this heat going to continue? A couple more days, Brian, before we finally break it for a while uh, tomorrow night and into the day on Thursday. So much cooler weather, which is going to be developing across the Dakotas, will eventually head our way, and that'll break the heat wave. But for now, we stay warm. High pressure is stretched out from Virginia out into the Atlantic. So we've got a nice, warm, moist flow of air up from the southern United States. Dealing with a little bit of uh, leftover cloudiness from yesterday afternoon and evening's shower and thunderstorm activity. This should break up and burn off as the morning goes on, Brian, and we'll see it uh, kind of become partly sunny across the region with temperatures up to 85 to 90. There is the risk of a shower or thunderstorm again this afternoon just because we've got so much leftover moisture in the atmosphere. Sun came up this morning at 639. 
It'll set tonight at 738. Skies will become clear overnight. We're going to be 65 to 70. Tomorrow looks to be a very warm day. Partial sun. There's the risk of a shower or a thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. We're going to be somewhere between 90 and 95. Any storms end tomorrow night. It's partly to mostly cloudy, 70 to 75. More clouds than sun for Thursday. Maybe a shower or a thunderstorm. Highs Thursday, Brian, around 80. And then look for daytime highs to only be in the 70s by Friday. On today's Newsmakers show, it's Schuyler County Legislator Democrat uh, Michael LaSalle. And uh, Michael LaSalle continuing with the uh, issues. Taxes. Taxes in New York State. That's always a big issue. And uh, most candidates say that uh, New York is uh, overtaxed. How do you feel about it, Michael LaSalle? Well, yes, we are overtaxed. And there is, there is also a problem with have, uh, over, being overregulated. Now, I do, I do feel that we do need to protect our environment. There's a lot of regulations that uh, have to do with that, and that's important. But in terms of jobs and promoting economic development, I think that that's where New York State, we're really at a disadvantage. And that's something we really need to look at because uh, – Economic development funding seems to uh, work for some companies, but in general, the process to get help assistance to, to start a new project uh, through the economic development uh, funding takes too long, and businesses really can't wait that long to be able to know whether they can go ahead with an expansion plan or whatever it may be. Because we are at a disadvantage, in terms of our taxes and our regulation. I believe we need to do everything we can to keep the manufacturing that we've got here in our state and see if through those manufacturers we can uh, expand into other areas uh, while we also do everything we can to see if we can bring in new manufacturing. Uh, and I would that, that takes me right into our workforce. There are significant problems with not having a trained workforce here in New York. And so that ties into education. And I'm a strong proponent of promoting technical programs, career technical education. My son, uh, is he has a job as a plumber, but he's also doing his apprenticeship. So after four years, he becomes a licensed plumber and can start his own company. And uh, every time he completes a unit, because he takes courses along with working during the day, he takes courses at night, and every time he completes a unit, he gets a pay raise at work. And I feel there's a lot more we can do to promote that in the same way that, that a job in manufacturing in this day and age is a job that you train, you train people so that they're, they have the skills so when they get to that job, uh, they're prepared. Schuyler County Legislator Democrat uh, Michael LaSalle is running for the uh, state senate seat currently occupied by Republican State Senator um, Tom O'Mara. Now the district map is uh, Steuben County, Yates County, Schuyler, Tompkins, and Chemung Counties. And um, your thoughts, uh, Michael, on uh, the issue of uh, something that we touched on in the uh, in your last answer, uh, environmental issues. Uh, as you know, uh, State Senator Tom O'Mara is on the uh, uh, Environmental Conservation uh, Committee in the State Senate. Your thoughts on the uh, environment and uh, your thoughts on environmental issues in New York State? Well, environmental issues are very important, particularly as they relate to uh, water quality of the Finger Lakes. We rely on them for our drinking water, and obviously our local water supplies are what keeps our economy going. Uh, and we've, we've definitely got a problem on our hands. In the last few years, the harmful algal blooms have proliferated. Uh, here in Seneca Lake, it's gone up threefold in the last few years. And that's the kind of problem that we need to identify what's causing that and see what steps can be taken uh, to 
protect that water quality. Uh, we in Schuyler County uh, just allocated funds along with the other counties around Seneca and Chuka Lakes to develop a nine element plan, which is the, pro uh, the, the type of plan that the EPA uh, requires to get funding. And so the first step will be to, to identify what the sources are. I mean, we know that there's, there's the agricultural runoff, there's the municipal sewage problem, uh, and there's the increasing uh, temperatures that uh, we're experiencing with climate change, and that all these are contributing to it. But we need to see to what degree each one is part of the problem and also what the sources of it are. Here in Watkins Glen, uh, well, in Schuyler County, we're building a new uh, municipal sewage plant that will combine the uh, outdated sewage plants of Montour Falls and Watkins Glen into one modern facility, which will be much better equipped to make sure that uh, between the, the, new, the new plant, but also by separating storm sewers from the water system, we will make sure that in if, uh, certainly in uh, big rain events like we just had here, that we don't uh, have a situation where the rainfall overwhelms the system and you end up with raw sewage in the lake because clearly that's something that we need to put an end to. Scatler County Legislator uh, Michael Lassell, he's from Hector, New York. He's been our guest today on the Newsmaker Show. Final question for you, Michael Lassell, and uh, maybe I should have touched on it a little bit earlier, but uh, it's a big issue. Uh, education, and in particular, Common Core in New York State. Right. Well, I support bringing education to the local level as much as possible, certainly in terms of our teacher evaluations and uh, getting away from standardized testing over relying on it. Um, like I said, uh, promoting m a, more of a, a broader approach to what education involves uh, that it's not just about going to a four-year college. It's about getting skills so you can get a good job. Uh, I support uh, promoting our BOCES programs, which, because, for instance, at Corning Community College, yes, you can, you can take a welding courses there, you can take nursing courses there, and that's great. But those are career choices that I would encourage students in high school to start uh, getting that getting that uh, exposure to these to these career choices just like in our our local fire department we have some 16 year olds that just joined and to me that's great they get to take the training and even joining your local fire department along with being tremendously important and we certainly saw that in Schuyler County with these recent uh, rain events where the fire departments played a critical role along with the important help we got from the state to help us recover. Uh, but for younger people to be part of that, that community service, but also the gaining skills that they can go on to uh, be an EMT or be a fireman in, in some of our cities, uh, all those are career choices that I believe it's very important to actively promote in our community. Well, we are out of time, which is too bad because I had a few more questions for him, but a very interesting conversation this morning with Schuyler County Legislator Democrat uh, Michael LaSalle, who's uh, up in the primary on uh, September 13th, Thursday of next week, and he'll be facing off uh, Tompkins County Democrat uh, Amanda Kirchkissner. I, I want to thank you so much for coming on, uh, Michael LaSalle. Thank you for having me.